Yo, so I am really loving Bravely Default 2. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to make a guide, like a boss guide for all the bosses in this game. And that is starting off with this fight right here, the very first one, versus uh, Dag and Selene. So this boss fight is like a tutorial fight. It's not really something you need to worry about losing, honestly. It's just uh, this fight can really, really drag on if you come in unprepared. Because while um, the guest character, there's a guest character that uh, does this fight with you, they will also deal damage, they will heal you, they will resurrect you with Phoenix Downs. So you don't have to worry about dying in this fight. But yeah, it goes on forever. It is a tutorial fight, like the all-out assault here. You're forced to use this literally on the first turn of the main character. And uh, it gives a buff to every single person in your party, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately, you don't get to strategize with this. Ideally, it would be really nice to uh, default on some of your turns, because every time you use the default action, you raise one BP. And if you had a high enough BP, then you could just really let out a whole bunch of damage without having uh, there being any risk of being in negative BP and losing turns. But yeah, we don't really get to take advantage of it. I tried doing this fight a few times where I just kind of go into the negative, doing as much damage as I can, utilizing the buff. But you honestly don't get that much damage increase, even from the all-out assault boosting your attack and magic, so I feel like it's better to just, uh, again, have everyone default here. And there's uh, two problems that really get in the way of doing what I want to do here early on. And that's the fact that uh, the uh, girl, Celine, she can default herself as well, so if she's defaulting, she's going to take reduced damage, so it's very important that you take notice if she is defaulting or not, because, yeah, you can uh, really waste a lot of BP attacking into that. And then uh, the second problem is what I think you just saw earlier, uh, Dag, he has an Enrage ability, which he can use on two party members that force those party members that are afflicted with that enrage status, they have to attack him. They cannot attack Selene. And obviously, you want to take out Selene first in this fight. Selene is a white mage, she can heal, she can buff. And not only can she do uh, a heal to one character, she can actually heal both of them. And uh, Selene, I don't think she ever casts Protect on herself, I've never seen her do it. She usually only casts Shell, which reduces magical damage. Yeah, the Protect reduces physical damage. And just with how much armor that uh, Dag has already, he just takes so little damage. So if you try to focus down Dag first, it's going to be a very slow fight. Uh, but again, you shouldn't lose. Because, uh, yeah, you get infinitely healed and infinitely rezzed. Maybe it's possible to lose this fight, but uh, I tried this fight out a few different ways and uh, I was never able to lose. It can just go very, very, very slow. So yeah, just trying to help you guys out. Um, I was trying to use poison, like you only have to level up Elvis, I think like once or twice with like his JP and he'll gain uh, poison, but I never got it to hit uh, Selene. I'm not sure if she's immune or not, but yeah, I guess it's not really worthwhile because like ideally it would be nice you know if you could poison her and she can take all of that damage while you're trying to raise up bp because uh outside of when you have like uh your bp you don't really want to attack you want to do all of your attacks as much as you can when you save them up when she's not defaulting and obviously when you're not enraged so that you're able to target selene focus her down first so that she's not able to heal. And yeah, her heals are pretty massive, like she can heal herself and Dag for about 300, or she can specifically target herself and heal for 500. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of healing, so if you're ever in the negatives and she's taking turns where you're not, she's just gonna get herself all the way back to full, so yeah, it's very important that you attack at the right time rather than just attacking uh, with all your BP as soon as possible. I didn't mind Gloria dying here. You should never worry about anybody dying in this fight. Because again, the guest character just reses you. He will heal you. Not a problem. 
Um, I think if you were to overlevel, maybe this fight would go dramatically faster because the guest character, if he's not healing you, if he's not rezzing, then he's attacking himself and he can deal anywhere between like 500 to 1000 damage. And uh, Celine and Dag don't have that much HP. Yeah, like Celine, he only has like 2400 and Dag, he's uh, 3800, so he's almost 4000. But yeah, like if the guest character is able to deal uh, his attacks, he'll destroy the characters. So it is even uh, necessarily optimal to just like defend while healing yourself with like potions, like that is perfectly viable, but uh, it was not the route I went for, I didn't want to just buy a bunch of potions and do that, it sounds uh, very silly to me, but you know, possible, if that's what you want to do, if you think that's an interesting challenge, definitely go for that, but um, but yeah, like this fight's super easy, I don't think you need to do all of that, um, personally, I only gained, uh, I think I gained three levels on Seth, I went from level one to level four, and I gained one level on Elvis going from whatever his default level is. I think it was maybe three to four or four to five. But yeah, either way, like very, very low uh, damage increases here. So um, again, at this point in time, I'm just trying to raise my BP as much as possible and attack when I can. So there's something I wanted to show you guys. If you're trying to, you know, get as much damage as possible. Oh, oops, I muted the wrong one. There we go. Alright, so yeah, if you're trying to do as much damage as possible, you might want to go grab this weapon, like starting from the beginning of the dungeon here. Just go all the way over to the left, and there's uh, stairs on the top left side of the dungeon. Come on down, and then yeah, there's a secret little uh, passageway there into this treasure chest. There are two enemies in this treasure chest. They're super weak, not even a problem. Literally just match the attack button, you get through that. And then you get Francisca. Which, yeah, Francisca, you're, uh, that's the strongest weapon I could find, you know, uh, between, like, this dungeon and, uh, the previous town. Not really a lot of items to use, and yeah, you can see I'm using, uh, Seth right now. He's actually, uh, using that. And you can see I just took Seth into the, uh, negative on this one, and I'm pretty sure this is because, um, I had examined, uh, Celine before, so I could see how low her health is, and yes, I was able to knock her out. But yeah, that's the only time you want to go into the negatives with your BP, is when you know that uh, you can deal enough damage to knock Selene out. Because again, if you go into the negative and she is not all the way down, she will just uh, use multiple turns to heal herself. So she can heal like 500 one turn, another 500 immediately after, and she can use BP just like we can. But yeah, it's very important that you use your BP wisely here. Don't just go into the negative. That's really all this fight is asking you to do. It's, uh, again, it's a tutorial fight. It's like, hey, look, there's the weak, <laughs> squishy mage girl over here, and the strong vanguard knight over here. Which one do you think you should focus down? And then, yeah, we actually get the uh, special again at the very end. But, uh, yeah, the special, the all-out assault, I'm not sure exactly how you get that again. Um, there is some sort of uh, factor that plays into that, but I'm very early into the game myself. I wouldn't really worry about it. It's not something that you need whatsoever, and uh, whatever it is, it takes way too long for it to really be utilized in an effective way. You'll be able to knock out uh, Celine way earlier than you can get your uh, second All Out Assault. But yeah, at this point, Without any healing, there's nothing Dad can do but slowly lose. Because the big thing he had going on was the fact that he just doesn't take damage. But yeah, that's going to be this guide here. Thanks to everyone that checked it out. Peace.